Okay, hey, chat script. Um, we're on um, our similar code signals. Uh, two arrays are called similar if one can be obtained from another by swapping at most one pair of elements in one of the arrays. Given two arrays A and B, check whether they are similar. For A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, the output should be uh, similar. Okay, so um, if uh, A is at their arrays, if A dot join, because we need to join them to make them um, strings, and then we can compare them both together. B dot join, um, yeah, if they're the same, then just return true. Run our tests. And test one, which is here, is true. Um, we can obtain B and A by swapping two and one in B. Um, for A is one, two, three, and B is two, one, three, the output should be true. And that's because we swap two and one in B, two and one. So we need to take them out of the array and then swap them around. So we'll do a for loop. For let i, oh, for let i is equal to zero. Um, i less than a dot length, and then increment i by one each time. So then we need to see if um, AI and BI are the same. So if one and two is the same, well, they're not. And then we need to do something. If two and one are the same, they're not. So we need to do something. But if three and three are the same, then leave them be because we want them to be similar. We want them to be the same. So if AI... Oh, goodness me. Oh, what is going on? Let's get that back there. If AI is not equal to BI, then we need to ah, push them, or just do let the um, array one, and also array two. Um, do let because they're arrays at the moment and we need to use join to change the format to string so then we can compare them both. Um, so then we need to do um, array. Why is that like that? What have I done? Have I just deleted? Yeah, I think I have actually. That's for the four. So then we need one for there. Um, array one dot push. And we need to push a AI. So then let's do the same for the array two, array two dot push, but this time it's BI. And then in theory, if we console log this, array one and array two, we should get one and two and two and one in that array, array. cool. Now we need to swap two and one around, so we need to reverse them. So if we say array two is now equal to array two dot reverse, then it should be the same, one, two, one, two. We need to change the format into a string and then this, oh, and then the same with array one. So do array one is equal to array one dot join. And now there's strings, we can compare them. So if array one is equal to array two, we want to return true. Um, I don't, yes, uh, test two, that was cool. So now test three is, well, then not similar at all. Any swap of any two elements, either in A or B, won't make A and B equal. So we've gone through the trues and how we can make them similar. So if all else fails, then they're not going to be similar. 
So at the end of our function, we just do return false. It's 10 out of 10, cool. And we submit. And correct. Ooh. Cool. Oh, goodness me. Let's just quickly go back into that. And there's the finished code.